All right, we are going to get started this evening. Uh, and so we're very happy that so many of you all have made time this evening to participate in our virtual open house during these COVID days. Um, it is interesting time as we strive to, um, to move forward and offer a quality education here at Bishop Kelly. And so we would love to have had all of you on our campus for an in-person open house, but we're happy uh, to be able to provide uh, this platform uh, to share with you again the mission um, and all of the wonderful things that Bishop Kelly has to offer. So I'm Father Castle, I'm the president of the school and I would like to open this evening in prayer. So let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Good and gracious God, we are thankful for the gift and the beauty of Catholic education. We are thankful for the gift and the beauty of Bishop Kelly High School who for the last 61 years has provided a Catholic Messiah education that forms both the heart and the mind of a young person. We pray for these families who have logged on this evening to learn about Bishop Kelly. And we pray for all of our families who are discerning and considering um, a high school for their young people. We recognize that this is a very big decision that they are making. So we ask that you imbue them with holy wisdom and that they find the answer that they need to make prudent decisions for the life and the future of their, of their child. So we pray your blessing upon them, upon our faculty, upon our staff, our students, and all of our families that make up the Bishop Kelly community, that we will always strive to be disciples of your son, Jesus Christ, in whose name we make this prayer. Amen. Mary, Queen of Peace, pray for us. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Again, welcome to our virtual open house. I pray that you enjoy this presentation. If you have any questions along the way, you are welcome to use the question and answer um, module on the lower part of your screen. And at the end of the presentation, we'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. And also you are welcome to email or reach out to any of us um, who are presenting on this call this evening with any specific questions that we may be able to answer for you. Again, welcome, and we're so glad that you're here tonight. Okay. Well, good evening, everyone. My name is Patty Bush, and I'm the Dean of Admissions at Bishop Kelly, and I wanted to welcome you to our virtual open house. And as Father said, I wish that we could be in person, but because we can't, we decided to put together an evening where we'll show you a video about the school and you will meet some of our administrators and put some names to faces that will be helpful as we move forward. And I also want to, at this time, introduce you to two of our senior students who are going to help host the meeting tonight. We have Tristan Jones, who is a senior, and we also have Katie Ewell. And I wanted to mention before I turn it over to, to Tristan, if we do have anyone that speaks Spanish, we do have Maria Monhut on our open house this evening who will be happy to answer any questions in Spanish. If you wanna type those um, at the end of the presentation, she will be happy to answer those um, for you. So, Tristan. Katie might be having a few technical difficulties at the moment, so we're going to skip ahead to Tristan. All right, well, as they figure that out, um, I'm going to play for us the video for this evening. One moment, please. Hi, my name is Mary Ewell, and I am currently a service. I attended St. Catherine's School prior to coming here. I'm currently a false brother and dean scholar, and I'm working on my auditions. That's definitely a process. And I plan on majoring in mechanical engineering on the pre track, and I really enjoy reading fantasy. Okay,
Welcome to Bishop Kelly. Welcome to Bishop Kelly. Welcome to Bishop Kelly. Welcome to Bishop Kelly. Hello, I'm Father Castle, the president of Bishop Kelly High School, and I wish to extend a very warm welcome to all of you who are participating in this virtual tour of Bishop Kelly High School. We would all agree that we're living in some crazy times, and we would have loved nothing more than to have welcomed you onto our campus uh, to see for yourself all that Bishop Kelly has to offer. I pray that this video is helpful as you as a family discern and make one of the most important decisions uh, that you will make for your child's future, the place in which they will go to high school. So be assured of my prayers as you make your very important decision, and it is our hope that you will choose to join us here at Bishop Kelly and become a part of the Comet family. May God bless you. Every day at Bishop Kelly, I get an opportunity to go to a school that I want to go to. Each day at Bishop Kelly, I'm excited to come to school and learn about different subjects and see my friends. I came to Bishop Kelly because I wanted to meet new people and broaden my horizons. I've always wanted to come to Bishop Kelly after going to school in the Diocese of Tulsa, and I just couldn't wait to go to high school and be with all of my friends and do all the fun things that Bishop Kelly has to offer. Being a part of the Bishop Kelly community to me means getting the opportunity to be around people who truly care about me and push me to be the best person I can be on a daily basis. Greetings, prospective Bishop Kelly students and parents and guardians. My name is Jim Franz. I'm the principal at Bishop Kelly. Bishop Kelly is the only diocesan high school in the Diocese of Tulsa in Eastern Oklahoma, grades nine to 12, co-ed. We're about 940 students. One of the unique characteristics of Bishop Kelly is its block schedule. Students at Bishop Kelly take four classes at a time, only four, so they can concentrate on those classes, much more like the collegiate environment. Bishop Kelly invites students of all different types of backgrounds, all different types of skill sets. We have a wide variety of students who find success at Bishop Kelly, from national merit semifinalists, national merit finalists, to students who struggle with school. We have a Rother program that supports academic needs students in a wide variety of ways. Bishop Kelly is committed to helping as many students as possible find academic success and college preparation. Bishop Kelly students seek the truth through the gospel traditions and through Lasallian education, which has been a hallmark of Catholic schools for over 400 years. My name is Lily Stuckey, and I am a junior here at Bishop Kelly. The classes offered at Kelly range from the basic mathematics, science, literature, and history courses to special interest courses such as guitar, piano, and athletics. The classes at Kelly are very student-centered and focus on important skills that help students achieve inside and outside the classroom. Bishop Kelly offers on-level, honors, and AP coursework, making it easier for each student to find their place. The academics at Kelly challenge students to not just memorize facts, but rather retain information and have conversations that help develop cognitive thinking skills. Through the academics at Kelly, I have been able to enhance my writing, thinking, and speaking skills. I've been able to do this by the unrelenting support of the faculty and staff at Kelly. Each person I encounter has had my best interest at heart and always been able to make time to meet with me to further discuss academic topics. Being a student at Bishop Kelly to me means community. Bishop Kelly provides a community that goes beyond your four years of high school. It is always constant and such a blessing. If I could give one piece of advice to a prospective Bishop Kelly student in regards to academics, it would be to communicate with your teachers. They are more than willing to help you in any way. My name is Father Zui Nguyen, the chaplain at Bishop Kelly High School and I'm thrilled to share with you and your family what the BK community is all about. BKs have been a strong community not only because of the excellent academic and athletic programs we offer to our students, but also because we seek to engage them in a deeper relationship with our Lord. We offer daily mass, confessions, retreats, outreach ministry, and so much more for our students to strengthen their relationship with God. As the full-time chaplain, I'm blessed to have opportunities to get to know our students and accompanying them in this spiritual journey. My hope and prayer is that each of the students at BK 
would encounter the Lord during their time here and become a faithful disciples for Christ and His church. My name is George Albach, and I am a senior at Bishop Kelly High School. Bishop Kelly offers a wide range of opportunities to express students' creativity through our classes in the fine arts. Do you have an interest in being on the stage? Bishop Kelly offers beginning and advanced level acting for those who want to be in the limelight. Maybe you have a natural talent for singing. Bishop Kelly has a wide range of opportunities for men and women's choirs, jazz choir, and musicals in the fall and spring. Do you want to pursue a new instrument in high school? Well, BK can help you achieve that through our guitar, string, piano, and drumline classes. If you enjoy drawing, painting, pottery, or ceramics, Bishop Kelly provides classes for all fine art forms. At Bishop Kelly, I've been involved in our musicals, men's choir, religious retreats, student council, speech and debate, and through those things, I've grown to be more confident and more easily able to express myself in a way that I would have never been able to without being involved in these activities. My favorite part about Bishop Kelly is the variety of classes that BK offers. There is a place for you to not only survive high school, but take your four years of high school and thrive. My name is Madeline Gomez and I'm a senior at Bishop Kelly High School. Bishop Kelly Campus Ministry is a combination of in-school mass, retreats, adoration, theology classes, community service, and other opportunities for students to get in touch with their faith and their community. Campus Ministry has allowed me to broaden my horizons in my faith and meet other people my age on the same religious journey. Being a student at Bishop Kelly has made me part of a community. High school can be scary and chaotic, but during my time at Bishop Kelly, there was not a moment where I felt alone. There are always people willing to help and encourage you in any decision that you make. My advice to an incoming freshman looking at Bishop Kelly is to love every moment. We only get to attend Bishop Kelly for four years, so make it count. Hi. I'm Gary Oberste. I'm the Dean of Student Activities at Bishop Kelly High School. I'm also a graduate of 1970, one of the best comet classes in history. My job is to make sure every single student finds their niche at Bishop Kelly and creates the best four years possible. Every student has 720 days from, from the start orientation to they walk across the stage and get that diploma. What they do with those 720 days determines whether it's a great experience or it's a life-changing experience. My job is to make those memories happen, from pep rallies to prom to dances. Anything that's fun and that makes those memories memorable for every student, we make that happen. Bishop Kelly has over 44 different clubs and activities, and every year that number changes. Students to find their niche, come in and start a new club or activity. We have a lot of student activities for incoming freshmen, kiss your mom goodbye, incoming ninth grade dance, um, summer barbecue, all those are opportunities for parents as well as kids to meet new friends so when school starts, you feel like Bishop Kelly is already home. My name is Adam Roy, and I'm a senior here at Bishop Kelly. Bishop Kelly provides a great number of leadership roles to many students at all grades. These opportunities include student council officer positions, class board of representatives, athletic team captains, club presidents, and many other supporting positions of responsibility. I hold a few leadership positions here at Bishop Kelly. I was voted senior class president by my fellow classmates. I was also named team captain of the varsity basketball program for my junior and senior year. Some other positions of responsibility that I hold include being a varsity baseball manager, a link crew leader, a combat ambassador, a Kelly Crazy, and a member of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes Club. All of these activities have taught me something different about what it means to lead effectively. The teachers, students, coaches, faculty, and administrators have provided me with a strong foundation of people to learn from. For any student looking to attend Bishop Kelly, I advise that you consider joining our Comet community and exploring what Bishop Kelly High School has to offer you. My name is Abby Daudel and I am a freshman at Bishop Kelly High School. 
When Bishop Kelly opened in 1960, my Uncle Tom, Aunt Jean, and Patty started here. Now I get to begin the third generation of Dowdell Comets. My favorite part of being a student at Bishop Kelly is meeting all the new people. Also, despite COVID-19, I still love going to the football games and seeing my friends. My advice for an incoming freshman looking to attend BK would be to come be great. My name is Aubrey Grosseff and I'm a junior at BK. Bishop Kelly offers 20 varsity sports. There's an opportunity to be an athletic trainer if you want to be a part of the team, but aren't interested in participating athletically. I play soccer at Bishop Kelly and being a part of the team has given me the opportunity to make friends, become a part of a community, and grow in my athletic ability. Everyone on the team acts as a support system on and off the field. I am confident that many of the friendships I have made these past two years will last for a long time. Coming to Bishop Kelly has changed my life significantly, but every change has benefited me. I have grown as not only a soccer player, but also as a person. The community that you become a part of when you attend Bishop Kelly is unmatched. My name is Patty Bush and I'm the Dean of Admissions. I'm a graduate of the class of 1982 and the proud parent of two daughters who attended and graduated from BK in 2018 and 2020. Bishop Kelly has been such a large part of my life and I'm excited to share what makes it special with you. It's my pleasure to walk with families through the admissions process and my privilege to be with you every step of the way. If you have any questions or you would like to learn more about Bishop Kelly and the admissions process, I'm here for you. I look forward to welcoming you into the Comet family. Once a Comet, always a Comet. Once a Comet, always a Comet. Let's go Comets. Make the class of 2025 the best one yet. We hope that you find a home here at Bishop Kelly. May God bless you. Mary Queen of Peace, St. John Baptist de La Salle, live Jesus in our hearts forever. Okay, hi, uh, my name is Tristan Jones. Uh, I, due to internet problems, I had to move into Father Zooey's room and I'm with Father Zooey now. So we're gonna now move on and I'm going to introduce uh, Mr. Jim Franz, who's the academic principal here at Bishop Kelly High School. So Mr. Franz, take it away. Thank you, Tristan. It's good to have you uh, and thank all of you for joining our webinar tonight. Um, Schools today, uh, Catholic schools today, have a primary mission in forming students spiritually. But they have an obligation to form students academically, preparing them for a world, um, a world different from 30, 40 years ago. A world where 21st century skill sets include, you know, an ability to think, an ability to analyze, synthesize, ability to articulate ideas that they can develop on their own. Um, 21st century students need to be able to work with a wide variety of students to form and solve problems. They need to be able to speak and convey uh, their ideas, both in written and in, um, in an oral form. So to prepare students for that 21st century world, um, one of the first things and primary things that Bishop Kelly does is we offer the four by four schedule. As it mentioned in the video, Students take only four classes at a time. An ability to, uh, to plumb the depths of, of a subject. Um, not only can a student um, read a, a short story or study a poem within a block, they can also discuss that, analyze it. They can begin to write about that, that same exact poem in the exact same block. They can study a concept. They can do the lab in the same block of time, the 90 minutes for the block. So it allows um, an ability to, to get far beyond the surface, to plumb the depths, helping prepare students for um, the world in which they're going to need to exist. Bishop Kelly has a wide variety of learners. We have 200, almost 200 different kinds of classes that we offer through each year. Um, many of those, as you heard in the video, are, are um, AP or honors classes, but also on level. There's advanced classes sort of the, the level where students can find their own um, success and yet be challenged. Our goal 
100% of our students ready for college at graduation time. Um, some students choose not to go to college, but those students entering the military, we want to make sure they're ready for the world in which they're going to have to, to, to find success um, and, and in a life preparatory way. Up next, Pat Hinson and um, Christine Tyler are going to talk with you about a little bit more of the specifics of, of the variety of students that attend Bishop Kelly. Good evening and welcome. I'm glad you've joined us. Uh, I am the Dean of Academic Support and I support all kinds of learners uh, within the Bishop Kelly community. Um, we have math and writing labs after school to support students and help them uh, with their academics after school. We have the Bless Stanley Rother Academic Program, which we call the Rother Room, um, where we have some learning specialists that are able to assist students in their studies. Those um, tutors and specialists are available before school, during the day, and after school to assist students with uh, varying needs. We also make accommodations for students within the classroom um, if they have specific learning disabilities or learning needs. We have a program, an inclusive program for students with special needs, and those students are assisted by peer mentors within the classroom. Um, and they receive a certificate of completion. So they uh, work in, in high school academics at the level that they are capable of succeeding. Our goal for the program of uh, the Bless Stanley Rother, which you may have heard before was previously the iConnect program, is to help all students find success and challenge within their academic level. So we uh, offer a variety of support to all students at Bishop Kelly. And I will um, hand it off to Christine Tyler, who's going to let you know about the Brother Bernadine program, who challenges um, a lot of our students even further. Hello, good evening. Uh, thank you all for joining us this evening. Uh, my name is Christine Tyler, and I am the director of the Brother Bernadine Scholars Program. Uh, the Brother Bernadine Scholars Program is a comprehensive enrichment program providing opportunities and expectations that encourage intellectually talented students to maximize their God-given potential. This is an application-based honors program where we ask our students to commit to academics and service and ask them to pursue the highest achievement possible at Bishop Kelly. Uh, students are required to maintain a rigorous schedule of honors and advanced placement classes. They're required to take five AP exams by graduation. They are encouraged to attend cultural and community enrichment events, tutor students in math and writing, and complete a senior capstone project based on research that is started in their sophomore year. To apply to the program, you apply in the second quarter of your freshman year, um, and students who wish to apply to the program should enroll in a minimum of two honors classes during that freshman year have a 3.75 weighted GPA. Um, there are a lot of intrinsic and extrinsic benefits to the program, including an association with a peer group of students who have similar goals and aspirations academically, and also various cultural enrichment opportunities offered throughout the year. Um, so that's a little bit about the Brother B program, and I am going to hand it off to, I believe, Katie Yule, who is also a Brother Bernadine Scholar. Hi, so yes, as Miss Tyler said, I am a Brother Bernadine Scholar. And also as in the video and what Mr. Fran said, we have almost 200 academic courses available to students. Uh, some of my favorite while being here have been AP Biology, AP, English language and composition, um, musical theater, choir, trial procedure. There's such a variety of courses available to students that is really great to take full advantage of. And so now as we move on, I'd like to hand it over to Mr. Gary Oberstee, our Director of Student Activities, and Ms. Maggie Gable, our Assistant Director of Student Activities. Good evening, thank you for joining us this evening. As I said, these said, my name is Gary Oberstee and I'm the Director of Student Activities Maggie Gable and I have the unique job of making possible for students the best possible memories. Bonfires, pep rallies, dances, clubs, activities. Students are 
um, involved at Bishop Kelly and they're happy when they have their friends, when they're involved and they make a difference. Each student has to find their niche to be part of the Bishop Kelly community. You don't just fit in, you belong. There are over 44 clubs and organizations this year. It grows every year from grilling club to ultimate Frisbee. Each year, new students come in and wanna create a new opportunity for everyone to be involved in some activity. There's some, something for everyone, and everyone has a place to be involved and make that contribution. Kelly has lots of dreams for sale. You have to choose the dreams you want to shoot for and the ones you're willing to work to make come true. In my office, I have a plaque. It's called Heaven. It reads, is there a heaven? Oh, yes. It's a place where dreams come true. Is this heaven? No, it's Bishop Kelly. Maybe this is heaven. This is a place to be. I hope you have a, any questions later on tonight. We'll be glad to answer them. I'm going to turn it over to Miss Gable, who will share information about our unique freshman link crew program. Thank you, Gary. Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to be here with you tonight. Our link crew program, I think, is probably one of the best clubs for incoming freshman parents to hear about. It is a big brother, big sister program led by our juniors and seniors. Um, kids love to be a part of Link Crew because it meant so much to them when they were freshmen. So what we do is we take the entire freshman class and we split them up so they're not with anyone from their middle school and we really kind of level the playing field so they all get the chance to meet new people. And we put them in small groups of 10 to 12 kids and then they have three Link Crew leaders who are their big brother and big sister for the entire school year. A week before school starts, the Link Crew leaders will lead our freshmen in a two-day intensive orientation. Um, it's all about meeting friends. A lot of uh, it is about meeting people who are going to be in your lunch, kind of eliminating that anxiety of who I'm going to sit with at lunch. I'm um, taking them to their classes so they can see where their classes are, who's in their classes, lots of fun games and activities, making sure they get to meet lots of people, and then forming that relationship with the Link Crew leaders. Link Crew leaders will text their freshmen throughout the year and tell them when a red and white day is coming up or the homecoming dance or a PB and jeans. And just like if you, you have an older sibling and they kind of tell you what's in the know, that's what our Link Crew leaders do. Um, it's a really great program and it probably the best thing is when you see those freshmen get out of their car on the first day of school, there are already comments. They know where to go. They know um, what school's about and they've met some faces to get a great four years. Um, so our Link Crew program is really special. We're really proud of it. And we hope you guys um, are able to take part of it. I am going to hand it back over to Tristan. All right, thank you, Mrs. Gable. So I'm gonna be talking about a little bit of student activities at Bishop Kelly. And of course, like Ms. Gable said, uh, Link Crew is one of them. And I am a Link Crew leader this year. And I was blessed with having the role uh, my junior and senior year. And there's a lot of other activities you can do. I am also the student council president at Bishop Kelly High School. And one of the, my favorite things to do here is to be able to congregate with other students and to take part and to have fun activities with them. Bishop Kelly is really different from the other schools because they allow uh, all the students to, like what Mr. O said, to find their niche. Everyone has a place here at Bishop Kelly and there's a lot of fun things that they can do and there's a lot of clubs that they can join. And I'm really excited to see, or I guess I won't be seeing your freshman next year, but I'm sure they'll have a great time whenever they're, whenever they're here. So I'm gonna hand it off now to the campus ministry team, which is Mrs. Sarah Dix and our priest, Father Zui. So take it away. Thank you, Tristan. And welcome everyone. My name is Father Zui Nguyen, the chaplain here at Bishop Kelly. Together, Ms. Sarah Dix and Ms. Bab and Mr. Thurman, we make up the campus ministry team. So as the Catholic school, our number one goal is to help our students to know, to love, and to, cultiv to cultivate their relationship with God. So besides you know, being excellent in academics, athletics, we also help them to, to grow in their spiritual life. So campus ministry is here to assist, accompany, challenge, and equip our students with the spiritual tools that help them to discern their vocations and for them to become faithful disciples for our Lord. Um, very concretely, we provide many opportunities of encounter for our students to be formed in, in the knowledge of the church wisdom, 
and to be on fire for, for Jesus. Um, so here we have daily mass. Very lucky we have two priests here on campus. You know, Father Castle is the president, and I'm here at the full-time chaplain every day. So I have mass in the morning at 7 o'clock um, for our student and staff. And once a month, we have all school mass for everyone on campus to come. And then we have confessions regularly. And then we have adoration once a month. Um, and then we, one of the things that we're very proud, we go out and we serve the poor. So I had, um, in the past you know, few weeks, I have 20 students going downtown with me to serve the poor, to handing out food, water, and to, to pray with them. So many opportunities just to allow our students to grow and to, to know their, their spiritual life. So, and, and now I turn this to Ms. Sarah Dix to talk a little bit about retreat for each class. Hi, I'm Sarah and I wanna talk about some of the opportunities that we have uh, to, for students to encounter the Lord here at Bishop Kelly. Um, one of the probably most involved ways that they can encounter the Lord is through the retreat program. There are retreats offered for every age level, freshman through senior. Um, and as a junior or senior upper class, they get the opportunity to serve as retreat leaders and are formed to be able to evangelize their classmates. Um, other opportunities that we have for them to encounter the Lord include mission trips and opportunities for service. Like fathers, we said, every week we're going downtown and serving those who are experiencing homelessness and um, food insecurity. But we also have longer term programs where we have been to Blackfeet, Montana and worked uh, in Browning, Montana and worked with the Blackfeet um, people on their reservation. We have been to some of the poor neighborhoods in Chicago and Memphis. Um, and so it's really about encountering Christ and then bringing him to others. And I think Tristan is gonna talk a little bit about his involvement in campus ministry. Yes, thank you, Sarah. So uh, campus ministry at Bishop Kelly is also one of the most unique parts about Kelly also. I have been involved in many retreats. I have both went to them and I have worked them. Each year we have a retreat for the class, like the freshman retreat or the sophomore retreat. And they have allowed me to grow more in my faith. I am really thankful that I've had the opportunity to go to Bishop Kelly and to actually be uh, more closer to God and my faith through campus ministry. We have chapel every day. It's open all the time. Uh, there's mass every day that Father Zui uh, usually uh, celebrates. And there's just so many different opportunities that you as a student or can have whenever you're at Bishop Kelly to grow deeper with God. And that is one of the most unique parts about this school. So I'm now going to hand it off to Coach Lance Parks, who is the athletic director at Bishop Kelly. Thank you. I appreciate it. I feel a, a little bit outnumbered. Everyone else brought their assistant with them. Uh, I do have an assistant AD. She's just not here tonight. Um, welcome. Uh, it's, I'm glad that you guys are able to join us, even if it's via Zoom, uh, to learn a little bit about Bishop Kelly. Kelly's a wonderful community. Um, uh, it's a well-rounded community, as you've already heard today. Uh, I am the, the athletic director, so I'm in charge of all 20 of our varsity programs and all of our sub-varsity programs that numbers uh, just about 600 athletes and, and almost 50 coaches uh, uh, within those programs total. Um, as an athletic department, uh, there honestly is, is, is not a school, public or private in the state that has experienced the successes that we have since 1967. Uh, we've won 105 state championships, uh, team state championships, including uh, a, a 6A volleyball state championship on Tuesday night. Uh, that was a, a wonderful match with Mustang. Uh, and we've had over 250 student athletes uh, win uh, um, state championships as individuals in sports like swim, track, tennis, and, and golf, and so on. Um, but beyond all of that, uh, beyond the, the tangible evidence of athletics, to be honest with you, the, the, the purpose of our department uh, is really to be an extension of the educational and, and, and uh, social mission of the school. Um, uh, our classrooms are fields uh, and locker rooms. 
uh, our teachers or the coaches, some of whom are, are the finest classroom teachers on campus as well. And, and what we do is we provide an educational environment uh, that is dynamic where um, a common purpose links all of the teammates, everyone finds their role, uh, finds their niche, so to speak, within the team, uh, as we talked about earlier, and finds a way as a group to, to, to gain success. Um, we use failure as a tremendous platform. Every day we fail, and every day we use those failures as an opportunity to, to learn and advance as a group. Uh, I will have to tell you, um, with all of the this, this, this struggles and strife of 2020, it, it's been some of our finest moments, in my opinion, as an athletic department. Um, from the workouts this summer, uh, watching the coaches work together, watching the students the student athletes work together, watch us work through fall athletics, um, following protocols, learning protocols, learning on how to, how to keep each other safe, and at the same time, uh, move forward. It's, it's actually been a tremendous example of, of what this department is capable of. Uh, I always encourage uh, students uh, when they come here as a freshman to, to try out for a team. We have tryouts for, for athletic programs, programs for incoming freshmen uh, that actually will begin uh, in a normal year, they would begin in the, in the late spring, early summer, uh, and actually go into uh, some of our spring sport tryouts that have just fi finished up. Um, I encourage you to be a part of that. But with that being said, you know, I think a lot of uh, students come here and they define themselves as, oh, I've always been a baseball player. I've always been a volleyball player. And some of my favorite stories are kids who came here thinking that they were one thing, and, and they leave here being something totally different. Um, when we won our first boys swim state championship a few years ago, at, you know, swimming is a program that didn't even exist before. And, and then we, we win a state title as a team. Uh, the young man that accepted the trophy for us uh, was a baseball player who'd been cut from the baseball team and decided he'd go try to swim. And, and a couple of years later, he's, he's accepting a state championship trophy. And it was a special moment, not because of the trophy, but because I know what that young man went through. Um, and I can go through countless stories. Patty said I can only talk for two minutes, so uh, that's unfortunate because I got some great stories um, uh, over the years dealing with athletics at Bishop Kelly. Um, I will tell you that the, probably the greatest outward representation of the mission of our school occurs at our athletic events and with our athletic teams because we do travel. We take, we take the show on the road mm -hmm. to other communities, and I can't be prouder to work here and work with the student athletes and the coaches that I do, so um, certainly, if you have any questions, and many times there are a lot of athletic questions, as Patty can attest to, as, as the year goes along, um, I'm always available to, to answer those questions. You shouldn't make a school choice based on athletics, uh, but I can tell you athletics is a, is a tremendous part of, of a student's four-year experience at high school, and, and I believe Bishop Kelly, our coaches, uh, do it as well as anybody. So thank you all for joining us, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you, Coach Parks. As he said, we have over 20 varsity, no, not over. We have 20 varsity sports teams, um, including, but not limited to, football, basketball, volleyball, baseball, soccer, and swimming. So there is something for anybody who likes to get out there and be active, especially in sports and wants to do something with that during the high school career. And now I would like to turn it over to Miss Patty Bush, our Dean of Admissions. All right. Well, thank you all so much for being with us tonight. I really, I wish that we could be in person and we could have you on campus. I appreciate your patience as we work through some technical difficulties. It seems like this year we have done a lot of shifting and weaving and um, changing things up on a dime. So I appreciate your patience. So the next step, because I know you're going to come away from tonight and love the school and love all the people that you've met is to apply to Bishop Kelly. And to do that, you will go to our website and under the admissions area, you'll see a tab that says apply now. And you will click on that where you will create an account and you'll find applications. Once that application is complete, you'll choose a testing date, which we are offering to right now, group dates, November 7th and January 9th. And your student will take that placement test. And I want to emphasize that it is a placement test. It is not an entrance exam. So we use the results of that test in addition to academic information that is provided for your students to place the students in math, English, and science as a freshman. So I don't want kids to come away from the test feeling nervous or afraid if they didn't do well because we want to know that and we want to know the areas where they need a little bit more help or they struggle and place them in the classes where we know they'll be the most successful. So 
I also need some information when you apply and you'll see that listed on the slides here and also on the website, but uh, a photo, birth certificate, birth certificate, immunization record, the academic information, if, you, if you're coming from a feeder school, one of our Catholic diocesan schools, I will obtain those records for you. If you're coming from a public school or another private school, I'll ask that you retrieve those, those grades, sixth through uh, first quarter, eighth grade, and send those to me. And once I have all of that and we have our placement test taken, uh, we review everyone's application and then we give an admissions decision. So we do have a rolling admissions, meaning if all the documents are in, the tests are taken, we can give acceptances as they come in. Um, we have our enrollment meetings once you've been accepted, usually in February. And at that point in time, you'll choose classes that you'd like to take for electives. We'll give you the recommendations that were made for your students for those core classes. And the evening, we provide an opportunity to meet with some of our uh, chairs of our academic areas like math, English, science, world language, and so on. So that's how the admissions process works. And the other thing I'd like to mention is in a normal year, we would have had from our diocesan schools group visits for your eighth graders. We would have had shadow visits. Those aren't being held this year, but what I have put together for everyone are campus tours. And you can choose those one hour tours to either be with have your students come and I'll put them with another student and they take that hour and they learn about the campus and learn about campus life with another student and or I'm happy to do a family tour for all of you as a group. So you choose the, the type of tour that you would like to have. The dates and times are on the website and once those come through, I will be happy to call you and, and finalize all the details. So with applying then comes a lot of tuition and financial questions. So I'm going to pass that over to our CFO, Rick Musto. Thanks, Patty. Um, so I'm just gonna talk about tuition assistance. If you come up through our feeder schools, you're probably familiar with FACS. FACS is the platform that all the diocesan schools use to determine tuition assistance. It's what you'd fill out for our internal tuition assistance, go for Catholic schools assistance, St. Francis of Assisi assistance, it's all in one package. Um, the main thing to know about the tuition assistance, it is the same platform, but we're a little different. Uh, our timelines are probably a little different than middle school. Uh, we open it up on January 1st and we close it down on April 15th. Um, and so you need to make sure that you have your information in. If you think you might need tuition assistance, uh, we recommend that you, you fill out the application. There is a fee, it's $35 paid directly to fax. That's how they make their money on this. Um, and then after it closes out on April 15th, we'll start processing through them, uh, reaching through to families to see if, if everything held the same or if there are any changes, especially in the uh, great unknown that is the COVID world. Um, I'll give you some quick stats. About one in five students here at Bishop Kelly receive tuition assistance. Um, about one in 10 are below uh, the federal poverty line guidelines for free or reduced lunch. Um, we issued out uh, next year, we'll issue out over a million dollars in tuition assistance. Um, our documented need is about 1.3 million this year. So we haven't quite bridged the gap between need and what we can offer, but we're closing that gap every year. Um, we treat every case individually. So we'll look at everyone's application for tuition assistance. Um, and, and then there's a spot on that application where you can tell us some information about you that may not be reflected in your financials that you're gonna show to us. Um, so we give you an opportunity to write that down. You can always email or call me um, so we can walk through and understand the situation um, that, you in, that you're in. But if you've gone through this process, you know that it's a commitment to send kids to school. Um, 
it's a bigger commitment to send him here to Bishop Kelly. You've heard about what a great school it is. Um, this is almost the Paul Harvey rest of the story is that it's not cheap. Um, we think it's very affordable. Um, we have a lot of opportunities for kids to grow here, um, but it does come at a cost. If you are not from a, a feeder school and maybe from a public school, then this number may look huge um, on tuition. So don't give up hope, give us a call. Let's walk through, see what we can work out. Um, and if you have any questions, reach out to me anytime you want. Tristan and Katie. I think we're at the questions. Yes. All right. So we are uh, opening up the chat for any questions that uh, you guys have. So just feel free to just type in into the uh, chat bar and we'll get those questions right out to the panelists. No questions, huh? You can ask questions from me and Tristan about our experiences as students at Kelly. You can ask questions from any of the teachers and faculty and administration who have spoken today. And if you don't have any questions for the moment, <laughs> which is understandable, you can email whoever needed um, at a later date and get the answers that you need. It's our pleasure to walk you guys through the whole admission process. We are so glad to have you at Bishop Kelly and to visit and here to answer anything that you might have in the future. There are no questions. I am shocked. <laughs> Okay. All right, then I will close us this evening with a prayer. But again, just to reiterate um, what everyone has said, thank you for your time tonight. Thank you for considering Bishop Kelly for your family. I hope uh, that what you've experienced both through the video and the talented uh, men and women who make up the team uh, at Bishop Kelly, um, that it really is a special place uh, for a young person to actualize their God-given potential. And so know that we're here for you to walk you through this process. We'll keep you in our prayers as you make this very important decision for your child. And so we pray that Almighty God will send his blessing upon you to keep you ever in his care, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, and God bless all of you. Take care. <laughs>